Thomas Andrew coming at you. And if I look like I just got done running like a 10K, that's because I just got done running a 10K. You know, in a perfect YouTube world that I live in, I would have enough time in a day to sit down and make a bunch of videos at once, but I find myself sometimes rushing and I always have plans for videos I want to make. So what I might do is I always am going to try to have probably a video like this where I talk. I think I guess the most important thing is really to be consistent. And that's what I'm trying to do is, is kind of run on a consistent schedule for you guys. Uh, so I will do that. This will be a video where I go through and answer questions. I might take a couple minutes here to just kind of talk and give you an update on me and the channel. And then we'll go into your questions. But there are, there's a, enough of you out there that seem to not mind these kind of longer videos. So this might be something I experiment with a little bit more as I, as I fix my hair here. So the first thing that I just want to say is it is incredible really because I was just checking like my analytics and I just hit over a hundred thousand views. I mean a hundred thousand views. That is, that is so cool. Um, and when I started YouTube, in being in Sweden is I was playing gigs and playing covers and that's nice but I don't really get excited to just play covers so I actually enjoy kind of writing my own music and performing that and nowadays in Sweden and I'm sure in a lot of places it's very difficult to perform music if you didn't know that I'm also a musician you can check out my links below and actually just getting a hundred thousand views has, has has opened up a whole lot of more opportunities for me as a musician where I'm now working with other artists and hopefully in the future you'll be able to hear things and I'll be able to plug things on this channel for those of you that have checked out my music. And uh, I'm also working at possibly doing other things with my music that I've never done before and I can't make any announcements yet so I'm not going to do that but I just want to say that that's been a lot of fun and I'm working with people that I never thought I would work with in different styles of music. So if you ever have a talent or something you were going to work for, I think that YouTube is very valuable in the, in the fact that it really helps you get out there just to kind of speak and be a personality. So for all of you that have been a part of those 100,000 views, and honestly, I'm probably at least like 500 views because sometimes I like to watch, I like to see my video on YouTube, like on my phone or an iPad after I watch a video. I might rewatch a video once just to make sure I say everything the way I want to say it. <laughs> But I go, I go through and do that. So that has been wonderful. I've been doing this since December, and it's been a bit of a struggle, actually, to always keep up with the three videos a week. So I realize now, and this is, I guess, if you're ever interested in YouTube, uh, I'm probably going to have to pick a day where I just sit down and do multiple videos. Uh, this video is probably not as hard unless I really want to edit it a lot if I'm just kind of talking like this. But uh, that's probably what I'm going to have to do in the future. Some weeks I might only be able to do two videos. I'm planning on going to uh, Stockholm tomorrow and, and uh, in the acapellos and I always need when I'm always doing stuff in Sweden I always have to remember to like to have a camera and talk about it like every time I eat tacos I'm like why don't I just do a video about tacos or I don't want to just try Swedish candy why don't I just have some Swedish candies and just talk about my favorite but I always feel so guilty after I eat the Swedish candy so <laughs> but I need to like come up with some ideas for videos I definitely want to review some more cities um, so I have a lot of ideas, and plus I'm, I, I want to keep putting music on my channel, either in the intro or the beginning, or I'm going to probably have, pop out a couple songs where I do covers. I want to do some in Swedish. I've just been, I've lost a little bit of my mojo with music because I, when I started doing the YouTube, I have stopped, and I'm just getting now back into like playing more music. It's weird how that happened, um, and, and music is my first love, so I'm, I'm working on it. Uh, I'm working on doing that, so I always like feedback from you guys to see you know what what kind of videos you prefer but I mean it seems there's it's you know I we'll see what happens here but uh, this always seems to be a popular one where I go through and answer your questions so that was kind of my you know way to catch up with you guys and just say thank you for uh, taking the time to watch me and, and support me and then when you like share and comment and if you check out my music even and if you like it and you share that with one friend that's awesome because at the end of the day, as an artist, also, I just want to get my music out there for, for someone to hear it. There's really no money in music anymore, and there's really not a lot of money in, in YouTube either. But um, I get excited every day to do this because I feel like I get the chance to make a positive impact on somebody else. And I have so many goals that I would like to do with this. And 
there is a bit of a sacrifice with doing a YouTube channel. You have less time to, to do things. And that's why I'm excited for this weekend because I'm going to shut off my brain and I'm just going to go and have a really good time. I, I might try to upload something on Sunday for you guys or, or have a video on Monday. So I will do my best to keep up with the, with the schedule and, and continue. And I watch my YouTube analytics and sometimes they're really great and sometimes they're a little bit less and, and we'll just, we'll just see what happens. But I, I for anyone out there, I just think consistency is so important. So I hope you didn't mind that rambling, but to go into the uh, questions uh, or just kind of comments on video, this was the one where I talked about Thailand uh, about 60 days ago. And Toby said, everyone travels to warm places during the winter. And the reason Thailand is so popular is because it's extremely cheap. I think beer costs six to seven kroner and Sweden is 50 or 80. So it's probably the main reason. The second reason is they have a lot of good resor uh, resorts. You won't find a lot of them, an example, in Malaysia, Japan, and China, and expensive compared to Thailand. You know, I feel the same way as far as traveling. I've seen a lot of places in Europe, and some of my most favorite places I've been to have been like Budapest, and have been uh, uh, the has been uh, Prague as well. I remember my two favorite cities because, as much as I love seeing everywhere else, it seems like anywhere that uses the euro is a bit expensive, and being able to kind of live like a uh, a king somewhere else and not spend a lot of money is, is a really fun experience. I mean, and I just love to go and pick out food and eat whatever I want and just live like a king. That's probably one of my favorites. I'll have to keep remembering uh, to, to do kind of more story times to talk about some of my trips uh, that I've been on when I've been in Europe. So that'll be interesting. And, and so thank you for that. Uh... This is about uh, the iPhones, and again, I just want to say, if you have an iPhone or any kind of phone in the States, at least I know the iPhone, you can buy it anywhere in the States, and it, it'll work anywhere. It'll work in the U.S., it'll work in Europe, so that's not something you have to worry about. That was something that I had on a comment, so you can uh, so you know that. And also, I forgot to say, uh, another thing with the phone companies that I just now started doing is, like, my Convict, for example. Now it supposedly works in the European Union, and that's new. I mean, that's just recently because that wasn't the case. And so I just think it's awesome because I used to be like, okay, Europe's kind of small, and you guys share everything. Why can't my phone work everywhere in, within the European Union? That doesn't make sense. So it's nice to see that they're changing uh, with that. that. That's a very positive sign. I, I'm really happy about that. Moving ahead here, uh, I don't know if this is, this is probably not a serious comment, I don't think, but it's, uh, Patrick says, fun fact, it's cheaper to fly from Sweden to the U.S., but the iPhone X, buy the iPhone X there, stay for two to three days, and then fly back to Sweden, and then it is to buy the iPhone X in Sweden. Uh, maybe currently right now to reserve it, but my point was in my video, is just if you're going to be in the U.S., maybe, and you need to repair an iPhone, you know you're going to travel anyways, find an Apple store. Or if you want to buy used products, or, I mean, I'm not saying to do this, but if you went to the States and bought a couple iPhones for your buddies and your friends, you you would, they would probably much appreciate it. So just, it's, it's something to think about when you are home. Uh, so that is something. And uh, I talked about the Royals, and what I meant about the Royal Family is like, I don't, they're, they're cool, but I, I don't pay attention much to the Royal Family. And I, I didn't with the British Family, but of course there's a, there's a lot of people in America that are interested, at least in the British royal family, and I do watch The Crown, so that's very interesting. And I am interested in learning more about the Swedish history with, with, with kings and uh, kings and queens because I do like that stuff. I don't know if that's because I started watching Game of Thrones and I just find it to be interesting, but that's something for you. Uh, and so I think it's uh, Zynos193. Um, and he talks about it and he says, it, it's a way to relate to the past. We could do without them, but Sweden, it's, it's more fun with them and it seems so boring uh, just to have a prime minister or a president. And I can get that and, and I think it's fine that, you know, Sweden has it. Ola says, uh, or Ola says, uh, I do not care so much about the royals, but they are good to be representing Sweden in big events. You always see them on special occasions like Midsummer at Skansen and the Crown Princess Victoria has funded big collections for children in need. Uh, Sweden's monarchy is one of the oldest in the world. That's pretty cool, I think. Hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you so much, and I hope you have a wonderful day, too. And anytime there's anything for charity, I think that's really, really good. I would be interested in actually learning more about charities in Sweden in ways that I could help out, because now that I have this YouTube channel, if there's some charities people believe in, if you want to comment below, it's always something that I could plug. Maybe not yet, but as my channel gets a little bit bigger, I could talk about some, um, and that would be helpful. And, and maybe some of you that watch me could maybe donate. 
to a charity. That would be really cool. Um, uh, R. Peterson says that the uh, taxpayer argument, in my opinion, is pretty lame. Uh, when it's like twenty-five a kroner a year for each taxpayer, and but I do not understand that it's so hard to understand for Americans to embrace it. And he goes on a little bit more, but what I'm going to say here is I get what he's saying. He says that, that I guess for the royal family, it's only about twenty-five kroner per person. That doesn't really sound like so much. So that's his argument. I'm not sure if the numbers are completely correct, but pretty cool. Thank you so much. Uh, Henrik uh, says, uh, this is, again, this is all about the royal family. I see them as a way to connect to the present with the past. It gives stability to the state. They are also a great way to attract tourists, and most of the money going to the royal family is used for the royal estates. I'm sure uh, the Swedish royal family is very popular within Europe. I, I'm not sure uh, in, in the U.S., for example, if that's the case, but it's definitely very popular in Europe. And uh, it's nice, you're right, the connection, connection to the past. And, you know, the royal family is supposed to represent the country in, in very positive ways. And it sounds like they're, they're doing their job, and if everybody's happy here with that, I'm, I'm more than okay with that, and I think that's fantastic. Uh, Mikael says that, uh, move to a smaller city. I live in Sweden, and moving now to a city once a year, I only recommend smaller cities. Right now, I live outside Karunen, <laughs> and I probably said that wrong. K-I-R-U-N-A, Karunen, because I've never been there. Uh, but... I read a book once called Zen and the... I've read more than one book, but I read a book called Zen and the, the Art of Motorcycle Maintenance. Zen and the Art of Motorcycle Maintenance. I had to say it twice. And there, he has a quote in there where he talks about any smaller town or city you end up living in is uh, always kind of like really going to be friendlier than a major city just because they see people less often and they're kind of just more open. And I just got a phone call. I'll have to remember next time to watch that. So let's just go ahead and finish up here. Uh, who would want, this is Tur Tetris Goat says, who would want to order a pre-cut pizza? I would send it back. What I would say to that, sir, is that I'm just used to, in America, oop, I almost dropped my microphone, I got so passionate, just having my pizza cut and having breadsticks to dip sauce in because I'm American and that's what I like it and I don't have to make any excuses for it. Mer. But anyways, that's just my joke. But anyways, yeah, there's nothing wrong with it. I don't mind cutting pizza. I'm so used to doing it now after five years. But, you know, I got to tell you guys the differences. Uh, let's take a look here. Uh, uh, someone thinks that it's uh, that I came to Sweden in 2009. Stov Aliv says that. Or Stovelv Aliv. I'm bad at, I guess, saying that. Uh, and then I got another question here, which is from the Swedish Freak, which I think is an awesome name, by the way. Wait, you don't push your basket with your feet in the U.S.? No, I haven't seen it. But I will tell you this. Don't feel so bad, Sweden. I've seen some crazy things at Walmart that I don't even ever want to go into. I just want to pretend it never, ever happened. So I've seen some crazy things at Walmart. So it's all good. You don't have to worry about it. It's all going to be okay. But yeah, it's, it's happened. Anyways, uh, but we would use a, a big cart because we drive everything. And we buy everything in bulk because that's how we like to roll. Um, I bought little baskets, I guess, before you can grab and set down. But I mean, it's usually a cart or nothing. Go big or go home where you just grab a few things. But I've seen a lot of crazy things. So don't feel so bad. And then I think it's Skurlin says, uh, this is on my just most of my recent video. Nice. I like these kind of first experiences story videos. Been trying to watch your stuff at least once a week. Hey, dude, really cool. Uh, but been traveling a lot lately, and it's hard to find these moments for YouTube watching nowadays. I can totally understand, and I think you should focus on traveling. But I am so honored that for, you know, one, you try to touch base with me for one time a week and that's why I feel such a need to keep these videos out there is because I know there are people out there that like to hear what I have to say I don't know why but you guys do it I don't mean that in a bad way it just I'm just a regular guy but maybe that's what you like a regular guy living in Sweden giving you my opinions so that's all the videos or questions that I have this week always feel free to like, share, and comment. Like I said in previous videos, I always don't get the time to comment on every video. I would love to be able to do it, but it just doesn't happen sometimes. And that's just the reality of the world and, and the world that I live in. But I like to get stuff out to you when I can. I'm very, very happy that, um, that the channel is doing so well. I'm happy that you're here. If you're new to the channel, welcome. 
again, I'm, I'm plugging my music. Just go ahead there, check it out. It might not be your style, but we'll see. And, you know, if I pop up some music songs here and there, which I would like to do, me playing music, you know, you can choose to unsubscribe, but I would, like, appreciate it if you continue. You know, I mean, nowadays with YouTube, if someone has something that I don't like, the way they do the new feed, I just kind of keep them as a sub and then go through with stuff I like. So, uh, but I would think most of the time you're going to like the content that you see. Oh, we need a secret word for today. Ah, ha, ha, ha. So the secret word for today is... If you made it all the way to the end of my video, if you think that you know you like hearing me blabber, it's gonna be fidget spinner. By the way, I don't think these are a thing anymore. These were everywhere, and I bought one to try it out, and now they're they're nowhere. It's no longer a thing. It was like as soon as I bought it, it it stopped. It it, it kind of stopped being a thing. Oh man. Anyways, guys. Thanks for checking out my video. If you like this one, as always, please give me a like, share, comment. It really helps me out, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.